Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another uh, episode of Diseases, Disability, and Dis Disabilities and Disorders. I may have said that wrong, in the wrong order, but meh, it's been a while. So today, I wanted to talk about something that people sometimes get confused for another circumstance. Um, today, I want to talk about what's called chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, I'm sure a lot of people out there who hear me say this are going, oh, so you mean like insomnia or, you know, I'm sure you have a long list of other stuff that has to do with fatigue. No. A lot of tiredness-related um, diseases, disorders, a lot of them have many similarities, but there's always one significant difference that in each individual one makes it unique in its own thing. In this case, chronic fatigue syndrome is one of those things where um, the reason it makes it, this one's categorized as its own thing is because the tiredness is there, but no matter how much you physically try, you literally cannot sleep. And yes, I know this sounds like other things, but there are certain aspects in this one that differ. Outside of the fact that it goes to the extent where it could be super dangerous. Because pretty much all other fatigue-related things adapt into your body and aren't very deadly to you. This particular one is. And it can last up to about around six months where you try to sleep desperately but really to not very much avail in a lot of films you'll see people talking about just generic fatigue and you'll see like these ginormous bags under their eyes well in a way that actually comes from I'm going to shorten it just for the sake of time CFS, once again, chronic fatigue syndrome. That particular idea comes from CFS, and yeah, I find it kind of interesting. Now, in a way, depending on the person, if you have a healthy sleeping pattern and suddenly it just happens out of the blue, that's where you're actually suffering from. But there are some people out there who have um, circumstances like insomnia where they struggle to sleep anyway. At that point, it's much more complicated to get. It is doable and it is possible, but it's a lot more complex because your body already can't sleep as is and is already adapted into this idea of not being able to sleep. So it can't exactly be as deadly for those kind of people. It still is. Because those people do still, every now and then, get their sleep. But the individuals who suffer from CFS just literally can't. Even if their brain eventually goes, yeah, I'm tired. At least their brains will allow them to crash. Those suffering from CFS... That's just out of the question. And they're like sitting there, tired, but can't do anything about it. Now, you know, why, why, for those who don't know, let me ask something of you. How is this chronic? How is this deadly? Well, it's the same way any, uh, like, let, let's go off of the idea of a car, for example, or a machine, like a DVD player. If you constantly ran these things, nonstop, 24-7, eventually it would break down and you would not be able to use it. Okay, well, you would, but 
you'd have to do ginormous, super expensive repairs to actually be able to be, to get to that point again. To the degree where you may as well have just gotten, you know, a new one, or whatever it is. The human body, in a sense, works the same way. Where constant no sleep, eventually the brain will just wither away. It'll just malfunction, it won't work. be like the person's not even the same person anymore. Now this leads into a completely different psychological scenario, but CFS does develop somebody into that point. Or it can completely shut the brain down. Pretty much hurting the person to that degree, physically. Those who have insomnia or people who have just generic insomnia or who have narcoleptic insomnia are very lucky because they won't have to worry about hitting this point. Because at least at some point their brain goes, oh yeah, I'm ready to relax and it will actually crash. Unfortunately for those with CFS, this isn't so much the case. Kind of painful to watch, to be honest. But, I don't know. These are my thoughts on it. This is a way that it works. It's not every detail. I don't know ever. I can't claim I know every single detail about it, but I do know this, at least. Um, but, do you guys have anything to add that you may know about it? Or, what did you guys think of uh, this on its own? Did you know about CFS overall? Most people don't. Um... <clears throat> If you have any thoughts on it, let us know in the comments below. If you like this episode of, again, I may have forgotten the order, but I think it's Disabilities, Diseases, and Disorders. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. But if you like this episode, make sure to push that like button down so far and you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, why not consider subscribing to the channel? We do vlogs every single day. It's not always about this particular group of topics, but it's always about something. Yeah, I know, descriptive, right? Um, it, it, the channel also comes with a secondary, uh, well, not secondary, primary, but it comes with a second group of videos, which are gaming or comedic first-hand or first-hand reaction uh, videos of those kind. Uh, if you have an interest in any of these kind of things, definitely consider checking out the channel if you have not yet. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this episode, guys, and we hope to see you guys in another. Catch you guys later.